Let's find out more from our chief meteorologist, Kevin Robinson. Still stuff on the radar. Is it going to be gone soon, Kev? Yeah, a lot of it's beginning to really fade away now. We'll get to the radar here in just a moment. But first things first, let's take you out there to uh, Williamsburg out in, uh, out in Brown County, where we actually had a little bit of wind damage reported here as well. Looks like a trampoline. Unfortunately, it was kind of blown over home along with a four wheeler as well, or 18 wheeler, I should say. Uh, yeah, so this was part of some of those gustier storms that actually hit some of our southeastern communities earlier this evening. Now all that's left from that activity, a few of those rogue showers that are quickly beginning to fade away. One way you can tell that they are rapidly uh, beginning to weaken now is the fact that notice you don't see quite as much as, re as, as much red on the radar as you were seeing earlier with these downpours. So a quick fast hitting shower expected for those of you in Ripley County from Versailles, probably going to push over towards Aurora as well, maybe into Dearborn County. We'll see if they make it to within the 275 loop and then one or two more kind of spotty stray showers up here between Clifton and Liberty up across parts of Fayette County. So here's all that's left now through the evening. So your hour by hour forecast, I'm going to keep the chance in there for a stray downpour through about maybe 1 a.m. It may not even be quite that late as those showers are again quickly beginning to fade away. So here's a look at your weather headlines. Overall, it is going to be much drier this week. And as a result, now that we're in late June, getting into July, it's going to start to heat up pretty quickly for us. We get a little break in the humidity tomorrow, but then it comes back with a vengeance for the rest of the week. And we're going to go to those more typical summertime rain chances that we get around here, where it's mostly hot and humid throughout the day. And you might get that garden variety shower where you get one or two that pop up on radar, not the overall large deluges of rain we've been getting the past week or so around here. So rain chances dropping more so into the stray category, although I think they will begin to increase some as we get into the weekend. So yes, pool and weather season soon as well. Look at temperatures here. We're going to start to soar. Tomorrow will be quite comfortable in the low 80s, but here we go, folks. We may eclipse 90 degrees by the time we get to the weekend. So indeed, for those of you that were hoping that we turn the tap off on the rain, well, this is the end result. Now we're going to see the sun bake a lot of that humidity up out of the ground and boy, a lot of that moisture up out of the ground. That is it's going to turn awfully humid for us. So here we are outside tonight right now. 70 officially at the airport. We're still ahead of the cold front with that breeze out of the southwest and our dew point still hovering in the mid 60s out there. Area wide temperatures generally, you know, within a degree or two of 70 for the most part. So we'll gradually slip once the front comes through overnight tonight. So these downpours that flared up across Indiana, they were essentially running ahead of the cold front. The cold front eventually makes it through here by morning. We get in on a nice refreshing breeze breeze out of the north and west that helps to send those dew points lower and you can see that drier air just now beginning to creep its way into parts of Indiana as those dew points in Indianapolis Bloomington still in the 60s but then they fall back into the 50s as you get into Illinois that's the air that arrives by morning. So here's a look at future cast. It confirms that those showers are now quickly going to be fading. Here's 1 a.m. So again, there may be a couple of more downpours left over and then they're out of here. Sun's up tomorrow morning should be a beautiful Tuesday for us from start to finish. And then as we get into Wednesday, humidity begins to creep its way back up. Most of us should stay dry on Wednesday, but I'm not going to rule out again one or two kind of rogue downpours around the area. So your forecast is shaping up like this drier tonight and a lot less humid here after this final batch of showers spotty in nature moves through comfortable day tomorrow. Here's a look at your day planner starting out in the 60s and we'll climb into the 80s by afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. All right, there's the heat and humidity with those stray rain chances heading into the end of the week. Kevin, thank